Hi everyone. We're going to sketch this graph. It's a polynomial, so it won't have any uh, horizontal or vertical asymptote. It's going to be smooth and continuous for a polynomial. And so we don't need to worry about asymptotes here. And uh, we're going to plot all the critical values or stationary points and also points of inflection. And let's look and see real quick uh, testing this M behavior. It's a polynomial of degree 3. So just knowing this from pre-cal, it should start. Um, if you use your power function, y equals x cubed, you know that looks like this. We also know that it has at most uh, two turning points because x to the n for a polynomial has n minus 1 at most n minus 1 turning points. Since we have x to the 3 third power, that's going to be 3 minus 1. So we can have at most 2. Now in this case, we don't, we don't really have any min and max here. We just have a point of inflection here on this one where it concaves. Um, downward and then concaves back upward. So our graph could look something like we're starting down in here. If we had two turning points, it could look something like that. That tells you right away what the graph kind of looks like. So now let's um, take some derivatives and find out what our critical points are, like what are these points in here. So uh, let's write down the equation again. I should have already done that. So we have y equals x cubed minus 9x squared plus 24x minus 10. Okay, right away I know my y-intercept when x is 0 is going to be negative 10. Because you just plug in 0 for these x's here and you'll get y equals 0. Uh, this is not factorable, so uh, the x-intercepts are not easy to find. So if the cubic fu function isn't that easily factored, you can always skip this step on the um, AP calculus exam. Now, uh, the curve has a y-intercept here, so now we want to take the first derivative So to ch check for the critical point. So we take the first derivative, uh, y prime, it's going to be 3x squared minus 18x plus 24. And we're going to set this to 0 and factor. So to find the critical points, all right. So the 3, you can divide the 3 out. So you get 0 equals x minus 4 times x minus 2. So our um, we have x equals 2 and 4. Now plug in back into the original equation to get the um, y-coordinates of the critical points. So when you plug it in, you're going to get y equals 2 cubed minus 9, 2 squared, plus 24 times 2 minus 10. And when you plug that in, you're going to get equals 10. And now let's do the 4. So y equals 4 cubed minus 9 times 4 squared plus 24 times 4 minus 10. And that's going to give you 6. So we have critical points at 2 comma 10 and 4 comma 6. Keep those written down because we're going to use those to graph. All right. Now we're going to take the second derivative to test uh, for inflection point and concavity. So I'm going to write down um, we have three we have three x squared minus eighteen x plus twenty four. So y prime was three x squared minus eighteen x plus twenty four. So our y double prime, our second derivative, is 6x minus 18. Now we're going to set this to 0. So you get 6x minus 3. So this equals 0. 
at x equals 3. So now plug in 3 into the original equation to get the point of inflection. So if we plug in to our original equation 3, um, I'll let you do that. So that's going to be 3 comma 8. You just plug it in to the original equation. So that's your point of inflection. So again, we have our um, 3, 8, we have our 2, 10, and our 4, 6. These are our critical points. This is our point of inflection. Critical. All right. So now um, we want to plug in our two x's here, our critical values 2 and 4, into our second derivative and see what's going on there. So if I plug in 6 um, times 2 minus 18, that equals negative 6. This is negative, so that means we have a max at my point 2, comma 10, and it's concave downward. All right, now let's plug in our 4 and see what's going on at this critical point. So you plug in the 4 in the second derivative, and that gives you 6. All right, since 6 is a positive, that means you have a minimum, and the curve, therefore, is concave up. All right, so here we have the graph. Whoops. I did the graph here. Um, we have an inflection point at 3, 8 right in here. So it's concave down. Then it starts concaving upward here at this inflection point. All right? And then um, if you just, I'd, it's really hard to graph on this thing. So if you just kind of graph it, it's smooth and continuous. That means we had a local maximum here. Again, the gradient would be zero there. Gradient would be zero here. And this is a, a local minimum. So this is your min. This is your max. And your inflection point is right there. Concave down, concave up. So it's like that. All right, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.